Everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Killer7. This looks like it could be our final target. Look at that guy. He's so red. Winter 2016. Target number five, smile. And uh, neck, yeah. How would you like to get shot in your neck? Moon, tell me your secrets. You're a boring moon. You're a normal moon. Hey, guess what? We're back to the regular storyline now. The guy on top of the building who did not fall to his death was the guy who received the Matsuken and Kunlan's blessing back in, like, episode... not episode... chapter 2? Something like that. Anyway, let's see what's going on at Garcian's house. is drawing near have you decided on your vote if you haven't please let the republic party make the most of your precious vote thank you and have a nice day it's a very flat pizza gersian okay let's see what's going on in Harmon's room Well, <clears throat> she's dead, and Harmon's not in there. There's also no noise. Hear that? Forbidden room. Maybe we can go in here now. Yes, we can. Let's see what's in here. Check. What a coincidence. Check. This time, the game is mine. Do you want to hear a story, Harmon? Why not? There once was a young man who had a promising future. The center back position was his to keep, and no one could take that away from him. Any play was a fair play. No one blew the whistle on him. Everybody loved him. Not to mention his campus sweetheart. Oh, she was something. They were the perfect couple. He graduated from Columbia with an MBA. His opportunity was infinite. He could do whatever he wanted with his life. But was he satisfied? No. Every night he would cry, begging the Lord. Something deep within needed awakening. Then one day it happened. That moment when the subconscious rises to the surface? Well, the way it triggered was very simple. It happened when his mother came on to him one night. As if the spirit of Jack the Ripper had taken over his body, he stabbed and stabbed until you couldn't tell who she was. You know what I think? An angel whispered into his ear. The angel gave him the extra courage he needed to give her the divine retribution she deserved. Sure she wasn't the Hell's Angel. I'm pretty sure she only had good intentions. You really are a villain. I had nothing to do with it. But I must admit, my memory has become a bit misty these days. Huh? <laughs> 
Well, that was a little weird. There we go. All is right with the world. I think we can go into... Nope. Can't even go to the other room. Well, let's just be on our way then. What is there to say, really? Maybe Mills knows something. Let's go talk to Mills. Mills knows everything. He did call us, after all. The remnant parties have started making their move. I felt a disturbance in the air. What's gonna happen? Terrorism. Different from the smiling faces. It's hard to predict the kind of terrorism Japan will engineer. Terrorism using wit most likely. Think they're capable of damage devastating enough to shake the foundation of the United States? I need you to fly to Philly, right? A former aide to the leader of the UN party is information. He goes by the name Matsuken. Okay, he's staying at the Union Hotel. Now find him. Who is he? Kenjiro Matsuoka. He's the only guy remaining that belonged to the UN party. Now, he's the leader of 10 million secret Japanese members that are scattered around the world. He is a major force. 10 million? What do you think they're capable of? If they gathered in one state and organized their votes as one large block vote, then... They could win the sea of a state. It's gonna be a wild game, cause everyone's gonna want a piece of Matsuken. The master has disappeared. Ah, uh, yeah, Garci. About that. Uh, look, I need to tell you something real important. Go ahead, lay it on. Let's see. How should I, um. Okay, 30 years ago, you and Harmon. <laughs> We've got a term or two mixed up there. Matsuken being our target in Philly. Yakumo? I think that was it. I don't know. I haven't heard about it in such a long time. We've been fighting Power Rangers and everything else. Well, Mills is dead. That's bad news. And apparently whoever was shooting wasn't interested in Garcian. Crusade at Hotel Union. Assignment number 40. Matsuoka Kenjiro's confidential meeting with the United Nations. Mills knew something. Welcome to the Union, sir. How many nights will you be staying with us? Actually, I'm meeting someone. Oh, Mr. Smith, we've been expecting you. The top floor, please use the elevator in the back. How do you know my name? I remember all the faces of our guests. Even your bag, sir. Huh? Nice enough guy, right? <laughs> it's a smile. Smile, bitch. Um. <laughs> is 
the bad. All we have is Garcian. And nobody else. We only have the vision ring. Damn. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> damn, damn, damn. Where's the blood indeed? Well, Garcian died. That's just a flat out game over. All right, we's back. That's all right. You can blow it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it was Aru help. It was Aro, that's no help. smile and a Harmon's room yay maybe we can use someone other than crappy little Garcia who are you you're not Samantha you're steward let's save steward just in case you know we don't want to do that again kind of crummy that it doesn't just start you off at the beginning of a encounter you know Don't make me think. Maybe. I've changed my makeup. Okay. Later. I'm not a monster. It's only a mask. I think you are a monster. You shoot rockets from your chest, son. Don't make me say it again. Harmon's gone. Maybe. Dan. We shot that micro smile, which this time unlocked everybody. It didn't last time. Now I feel better. Dan is here. All is right with the world.
shooting because I'm upset now. <laughs> ah. Go to hallway. <laughs> On the wrong side. Go back. better now we don't have a target we don't have a nothing okay we need to go back to that Harmon's room now because I think we need Kaeda here no oh, it's not what I meant to do oh well Did you notice? Okay. Good. Black dress this time. Little black dress. Plenty of blood, little black dress. I didn't have to go back to the room to switch. Oh. Let's take Khan. <coughs> we don't get to take Khan much anymore. Let's take Khan. He's so tiny. Oh, son, those pants. What are you doing, son? Puzzles. Well, not really. One floor at a time. Let's do it. Remember how excited Tom got last time? <laughs> Music is a little. No, you don't. It was our help. The music is so loud. To the hellion, you say, Daniel? Oh. 
Yeah, that would kind of be a damn thing, wouldn't it? I wish I could aim with the D-pad, ladies and gentlemen. with that. room and there's no one here go away cat now is not the time You're fine. I've changed my makeup. Did you notice? Ah, uh, men. They never notice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while, Runny Smile Man. Uh, this way. Nope. The only thing down here is Harmon's room. Uh, this way? Or is that the way we came? Yeah, this way. <laughs> <laughs> this is too easy. There's a bullet near here. Oh, just right there. Okay then. Is that a reflection of this room? Yeah. It's weird. I like looking into another room. There's no reflection of Dan. That's why I asked. Ooh. That is a good combo. Black shirt, dark red shirt, maybe? I think it's dark red. With a red tie. Black suit. I like it. Need to get me a red tie. I've got all the other stuff. <laughs> I 
panicked ever so slightly. <laughs> there were more of them than I thought. Next floor. <laughs> Music changed. Did you notice? Like right after we got rid of that duplicator. Replicator, sorry. Replicator. This floor is good. <laughs> I think I should have died there. This is too easy. Dan is just too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. This is too easy. Get down here. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Dan makes this too easy, viewers. Yep. You hear a noise. Hey, it was our Light. Behold this light. Nah, you'd like to think so. You'd be wrong. See what's going on here. Oh. There's a bullet in the tub. There's a hairdryer in the tub. We cut the cord. Oh, let's see. Take that. One wonders why one wouldn't have just pulled on the power cord there. That's a horrible, horrible shadow. Like right there? That's bad. Not too bad there. Still, really bad. Okay, another bullet. Let's get out of here. Maybe we can save in that Harmon's room? That would be nice. Wouldn't that be nice? That'd be very nice. <laughs> this is too easy. This is too easy. I shot one of those crawly ceiling guys on his weak point. <laughs> this is the only time that's happened all game. <laughs> yep, don't care. Nope, still can't save. Take my blood. 
Might as well turn it in every chance we get. The only one here is the Wazaru. Oh, steward, look. Gary Wanderers, Das Butler, Butler. <coughs> well, here's everything. Oh, this is from here. Heaven smiles, all the different kinds of smiles. Omega smile. Okay. Well, now we know. Bring in the uh, superior when no one's picking up the slack. <laughs> I could have swore I shot his head. Could have swore. <laughs> Moving on. Onwards and upwards. Probably gonna be a bullet in every one of these floors. If I had to venture, I guess. <laughs> Green this time. Nope, red. <laughs> No, you don't. <laughs> oh no, one of you. Oh no, one of you. Whew, that was close. The room's just right there. Hi, Steve. Steve, do you know what's going on in Killer 7? And you leave. Probably not. Ooh, that's a targetable object. And it's got a crack in it. That can only mean one thing. The ultra-powerful, not-so-attractive-anymore mask. Reload. Because I don't have to anymore. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, hi, Ozaro. What are you doing? This is a huge bathroom. Oh, he's tiny. <laughs> I we were supposed to go in there before. It was our was itty bitty that time. Six people killed here. What do you think it means? 
Uh oh, poison smiles. Quick. Uh, Kevin. Kevin's probably a bad idea. Maybe Kevin wasn't a bad idea. We haven't seen Poison Smile since chapter two. Anything? <laughs> two rooms. Okay. Some black. I could make out some of those words, and some of those translations are not super close. Like the last one was The Voyage of Killer Seven Starts. That ain't close enough. You know, I think the. <laughs> Still getting the point across. <laughs> That's some good shooting, Tex. Okay, not so much that time. Oh, you saw up there, um, enemy slow popped up a couple times. Oh dear. This is not the right person to be fighting us. Um, sometimes Kevin's knives will just automatically enemy slow now. Still no save point. I really want to save. Got a lot of blood there. Thanks, Kevin. Maybe you're good. Change my makeup. Did you notice? Ah, men. They never notice these kinds of things. Okay. Oh, Coyote still needs quite a bunch. Later. Con's good. I'm not a monster. It's only a mask. Mask needs some. Well, Mask doesn't need any, but if we want to be consistent, you know, Mask could use the boost. <laughs> oh crap. Thank you, invisibility. Whew. I'm glad I had Kevin out right there. I was scared again. Went right through me. Got lucky there, ladies and gentlemen. 
<laughs> oh, that sounded like big guys. I can't kill you. seem to be. Candles, eh? You know who you haven't seen yet is Travis. Lied to me, jingly balls. <laughs> they lied to me. Made me think they were the only ones over here. It was well worth it for that, and that alone. Still nothing. Turn in the old blood. 
Back out of it to change the channel. Jeez. I should know better. Speed. Waver. We'll use Con for the Con. Coyote for a little while. So I kind of like his outfit here. I'd wear that. Heck yeah, I would. Oh my goodness. Be like instant death to get touched by one of these or something. Um, run! Oh man. You're fucked. Almost did die. You're not a good person to be using for this coyote. His recoil's too weird. up the elevator and that's in there. He's like, hey, how's it going? I'm not a monster, it's just a mask. Forget that I could fire rockets from my chest for a moment. Where's the green floor? Oh no. We're just running into everything. I didn't watch much of this. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> didn't watch much of this chapter getting played through. That doesn't look like a padlock. Oh, I guess it was. Okay then. Where's Travis? There's Travis. Travis looks very um, upset. So I have a little theory, not you know being the expert on this game or anything, but I have a theory that every soul shell we pick up is a bullet that killed someone that went on to become a remnant psyche. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucked. That's kind of close. Because it seems to me. You're fucked. 
like we seem to have to hunt soul shells mostly in areas where we meet new remnant psyches. No, oh, hit the laser guy. You were hitting him. Why did you stop? Everybody's dead, move on. Before they come back. Steward? Steward! Yay! TV first. TV first, then butler. Oh, never mind. Not enough to worry about. <clears throat> It's been a two month monthly. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Maybe we'll find out more about what's going on. Maybe we'll find out if my theory about the soul shells is correct. I don't know. We didn't have to collect soul shells in the Handsome Men episode. We didn't have to collect soul shells in the uh, Almeida. You know, who knows? 